And that's a short survival rate. So it is it's boring slide. <laughs> Just hundred <laughs> percent. But it's true for G two thousand cases so. Yeah. You, you, you don't need to believe it before using, okay? After using, you will believe it, okay? The slide shows all sites before and after, uh, all, uh, after all site vitrification. So as you can see, there's no morphological change observed. This is my old slide. I published it in 1999 in Japan. So at that time, no one believed in this photo. So many of the audience in Japan, Japan, Japanese audience said, Masa did copy and paste <laughs> in the slide. <laughs> in the textbook, all sites cannot be quite preserved. In the textbook, no one believed. But I never copy and paste. <laughs> it's true. Then after uh, developing a cry top system, after teaching, then the many centers embraced to use my, my method. Then they see the same photo, same image by their hand. Then they start to believe. Now, uh, there are nine, uh, 7,000 IB centers exist in Japan. And 98% uh, of the clinics use my technology. And everybody believe. <laughs> However, when I published it in United States 2003 or 2005 in Ashley, no one believed. No one believed at the beginning. Every time. <laughs> And after giving ICSI, 50% uh, of fertilized all sites developed to the blastoist stage like this. And uh, this is just evidence. So I'm not a liar. <laughs> the, this just shows, this is just uh, no, part of the, uh, the results. The slide shows clinical results of cryotope and cryotectification survival rate. It's not only our centers, so our libel center, Assad radius, and our center, Kato radius, Umiclinic centers, or hands of more centers, uh, is reported 99% of survival using my protocol. And also, in the biopsy blastocyst for PGD. And the shrinker is a chief embryologist of a Colorado Center of Fertility. This is center is famous for David Gardner Center. Uh, it's famous for the cryo loop center. However, cryo loop doesn't work for human oocytes and uh, damage the blastocyst. So uh, David, David is a very good guy. <laughs> He's a real scientist. He comes to my center. He sends his embryologist to my center to learn cryotop. And they use cryotop system for their patient. And they will tend 98% of survival for biopsy blastocyst. And after transfer, uh, the biopsy, vitrified biopsy blastocyst, they will tend uh, nearly 80% of pregnancy <laughs> because they, do, they transfer two blastocysts. Most of them are twins. I always ask them to use only one blastocyst for the transfer. And the blastocyst for said that after using critical method, it, it continues to use. Obtained 100 percent, and the EMI center. I'll show you later. So this is the largest center in Mexico. I'm scientific director of this center now, Institute of Mexico Infertility. Yes, good center. And also for all sites, uh, Stelic in Milwaukee, advanced center of fertility. Yeah. So I, I visited there for 2003, and we obtained the first. Also, we have on baby in the United States for 2004 uh, with Stelic. She's an embryologist. So she also reported 97% of my first version of a cryo system. Uh, sorry, 2003. First baby in USA. And uh, so I, I was invited to EB 2005. I trained Anna Cobb there and the other about 16 embryologists there. So they also obtained more than 97% of survival using my first version, a second version, and they produced the first babies uh, after all set vitrification in 2007. And the first, first baby in, in Latin America was delivered in 2005 by Cryotop system in Bogota and by Professor Eriken. I visited there to stay for two days to train the embryologist there in 2004. And 99% of Monica Antinori in Roma, Italy, and the airports. And 
So from last year, we obtained 100% survival in EB center. That's a center by cryotech method. This is the evidence. <laughs> okay. uh, this is Sophie. This is the first baby in the United States, 2003, yeah, called Sophie. It's a girl and the center. We established the first egg bank in the United States, 2002, okay. Milwaukee, in Wisconsin. So about blast cyst vitrification, uh, there is a very strong reason to vitrify blast cyst. The slide shows the pregnancy rate after single transfer of, of blast cyst after cryo over flesh okay, in each age from 30 to 40. For example, if we give the blast transfer, fresh blast transfer, 30 years old, the pregnancy rate is 37%. 37% pregnancy after single flesh blood cyst transfer. However, once we vitrified and warmed in the next natural cycle and transfer, the pregnancy rate increased 58, you know, 20% increase. So this increase is observed in old age. Okay? So I mean, vitrification of that system means to raise more than 15% of pregnancy. Also, this result was not believed when I published in the or any, 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 every place. So, so, however, this is a result from our more than 25,000 cycles cases. Okay? So, there's two possible reasons. The first one is the condition of endometrium. Okay? The slide shows the sickness of endometrium at the fresh transfer ET or cryo ET. So as you knew, the endometrial condition is very bad in the stimulation cycle in human. Okay? So, so we transfer to the next natural condition. We choose the best condition of the uterus, and then we transfer. This is the one reason. And the second reason is the timing of the uh, development of the blastocyst and the endometrium condition. Now, in the stimulation cycle, the endometrium, so go, uterus, uterus days go out of balance. And the vitrification, uh, was the, the blastocyst, still blastocyst culture is not completed. So in all the center, almost all the center, the development delayed. So the difference, so there's a lot of difference in the fresh cycle. However, we can adjust the timing of the day of the blastocyst and the uterus. By these two results, we could obtain a very high higher, much higher pregnancy rate. So, uh, from 2000, 2004, four, yeah, seven, seven, eight years ago, so we, we culture all the zygote. Once we find the 2 pn, we culture all the embryo to the blastocyst. Then we vitrify all the, all the blastocyst. Okay? All cry cycle in our center. Then we, we warm it in the next natural cycle and transfer. Then we dis, it's result in, in average, 52% of pregnancy after single transfer. This is our golden protocol. Also, the slide shows the pregnancy rate after cryo blush transfer or fresh embryo transfer after single transfer. So this is from the data of more than uh, 24,000 cases of ours. So the patient age is the same. Pregnancy rate is after BT, we obtained 46.7% pregnancy versus only 28% pregnancy after flesh transfer. The miscarriage, miscarriage rate is the same, and the ectopic pregnancy rate is better in cryobity. So everything is better. <laughs> it's good for cryobity. And this is the result of the whole Japan, annual IBF ET is out in Japan, in, in the latest one in 2009. So that slide shows the pregnancy rate after fresh transfer or by derived of ICSI, ICSI or IBF, comparison with cryo ET. So in fresh ET, the pregnancy rate is 23.8, 19.9. However, much higher, 32.3% pregnancy can be obtained by cryo ET. And multi pregnancy is slightly smaller, and birth rate is higher in cryo ET. 
So in these 10 years, the percentage of the clinics to use vitrification system in Japan, then it's resulted in increasing pregnancy rates whole Japan. And now 43% of babies, IV babies are from preservation cycle in Japan, uh, but still 20% in the world. So I think vitrification about three, four years advanced now in Japan in, for the IVF cycles. And this is, now, this is more, my most important uh, photo to my life. Uh, you know, the blood cancer, like leukemia, has been called uh, the fatal disease. Once it's called, it means death. However, a recent making effort of the cancer doctors, now, after bone marrow transplantation, 85% of the patients can survive through this disease. However, the treatment is very hard. The patient was isolated in a very small plastic room and take a lot of dose of anti-cancer reagent every day. They took and spewed throw up 20, 30 times a day. He was very cold, very, very hot, very, very high fever, and very tired, cannot move, and they lose all the hair of the body. It's continued to one month. Then after BMT, when her life was saved, on the same day, she got the menopause. This is despair of life. So some young patients refuse cancer, cancer treatment if they have no family future. However, we can save this patient by all site vitrification. So this is Nagacha, my, my first patient. Uh, when I make the interview of her, she's 16 years old. This is second grade of high school. Yeah. And uh, I, met, I met the interview in at, at September of 2001. But just before the medical interview, we established a future mother. So this is the first outside bank for cancer, a married woman. So I, I wanted to them, the patient to be mother in the future. So I named it the future mother. So when I make the interview of her, she says only two months before bone marrow trans transplantation. So we immediately uh, make ovarian stimulation. Then after that, so we obtained two, only two oocytes from her. However, the oocyte quality is very good. We got a very beautiful oocyte. Then we made a photocopy, take a photo, and beautified it. And I gave the two, two copies up to her. Then she came into the small plastic room to fight with cancer, bring two photos. And she already named two boy and the girl name to all sides, and she puts a photo on the better head. And because she's very good, very good student, so has many, many good friends. So many good friends come to see uh, her hospital. Then she said, she said, I'm already mother, she said. So mother cannot die, should not die for the children, she said. So she fight and fight with cancer and come back. So at that time, she wanted to be the dolphin Dolphin trainer in the future. However, she thank us very much for this experience. So, she want she wanted to pay back for the medicine. So she search, she changed her motivation of life, and she started learning nothing, and she she learned nothing for three years in the school and the graduate, and she passed the national examination of the nurse, and she got very uh, she get get nurse. As you can imagine, so she's very, very good nurse. <laughs> and uh, uh, at the graduation, I asked her to work together. Please come with, her, come with me, come to me, to work for the uh, infected patient. But she said no. <laughs> she, she loves children. She's working for children. Now she's working for the, in the children's hospital now. She's very happy with working for the children, but I really hope she in the future, she will uh, have her own children in the near future. So this is a hope for the future. Uh, like her, we have already vitrified more than 1,000 old sites from cancer patients, 254 unmarried cancer patients, okay, for the future hope. However, the quality of the old site is bad, not very good, and the, the calculation you know, 
we obtained only 4.3 oocytes per patient. Okay, it means the patient has only four oocytes in their whole life. So we need 100% survival. Okay? So we keep continuing to improving, improving uh, to, to the last year. That's the reason for the improvement of the uh, protocol. So we, we have given many hope for cancer patients. However, last year, we got evidence. So this is a baby. This is the first, one well, of the first baby from a vitrified oocyte uh, of unmarried leukemia, leukemia patient. Uh, we got, we, I got this, uh, this photo from my patient last year, so I was very, very happy. So, so it's dry. Now she is not the future mother, she is now mother, yet mother. And this year, uh, we'll have two more mother from all side vitrification of ours. So that's what I really wanted to. So if you, if you est want to establish future mother in your laboratory, in your center, so I do my best to, to support you. The future mother bank is our volunteer work. Cancer patients pay nothing. So it's free. We just cheer for unlucky patients. So we can cheer, we can support uh, not only for the cheap money, not, not only for the money, for the credit preservation, so we can, we can save this on the highest survival. The real technology can save their life. Okay. So I make discussion with my, my boss at that time. So, so because my, my boss still wanted to some money from the, the credit preservation. <laughs> That's no, 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 no. All the patients will be our guests in the future, future guests, future patients. Okay? They will pay in the future, so no worry, doctor. So my, my boss said, okay, okay. <laughs> 